constitutional amendment that is being passed, the 18th Amendment will go into effect in just a few minutes and prohibition will be the law of the land. And you know what that means. <laughs> That's her brain. We waited. Yes, Demon Rump will no longer have a grip on the souls and the bodies of Americans. How about angelic whiskey? Ah, uh, but whiskey is not angelic. It is fiendish. It is. It's the drink of the devil. You know that. Ooh. And we have pledges here. Pledges that you can sign to avoid all alcohol. Now, if you do find any alcohol, it will be against the law. You will be breaking the law. You will be a criminal. I won't ask how many of you men have a bottle or a flask in your pocket. Some of you ladies, perhaps, in your purse. Oh, they wouldn't do that, would they? Perhaps a few. We do not want to have to go to the town where you live with our hatchet. And we have them, and we use them. I don't think they hurt you. I said, we have hatchets, and we will use them to oh. break all of the bottles, all of the bars, everything, the barrels. They will be gone. Our sister has done that, Terry Nation. And she spoke in Lake Crystal not too many years ago, and she said she was willing to even go to jail for her beliefs. Now that is a strong woman who believes in her principles. You have to accept. Do you not have to accept that alcohol is just a demonic grip on your soul and on your body? I have good news. <laughs> what? The 18th Amendment has been passed. Seriously? Alcohol yes. is illegal in America. Ah. Well, you gotta see this. You gotta see this. There's been a bunch. There's been a bunch. Still seized with Blue Earth County. Carl Cannon and Charlie Yeoman were arrested this week. That's why it's better than me. <laughs> Both of them are in the county jail for making moonshine. They got caught red-handed, put the mask. Myself. I'm Mrs. S. I live just south of town here. Now, you'd think living out in the country it would be nice and quiet and peaceful and everybody minds their own business. And you know, most of the time they do, but Every now and then, somebody from town comes out and just causes trouble. And that was the case for us. We had this little 10-gallon still in our kitchen, just a percolating away, made good shine. And wouldn't you know it? <laughs> and firewood, things like that, it always paid very well. And they were telling about one time, she came out there with one of her children. And uh, when the boy came up to the car, the six-year-old boy, he was there all alone by himself. And uh, she asked him whether he would get, find a couple of chickens for her. So he went there behind the woodshed, you know, to where the chicken yard was. And it took him a while. <laughs> Well, it can't hurt us now. 